Good morning. Beautiful sunset this morning. Or sunrise, sorry. <laughs> Look at that color. moon part of my six month celebration of being here um, one thing I haven't shown you guys yet is I took down six of the panels that were up there giving me shade because I needed the solar gain from the sun and to warm it up. It's been chilly. Not even going to get to 80 today. 79, I think, was the high. And it's been like that for too long. Hmm. It changes color there. All right. That little propane furnace thing I got has been saving my butt. So down to 43 degrees just a couple days ago. Or yesterday morning it was 43 degrees. Now it's only supposed to have one setting, 10,000 BTUs. But if you notice the flame is kind of low there, I'll turn it up. Then it goes up. And it goes down. I don't understand that. But, hey, as long as it keeps pumping out the heat. <laughs> but I put a little, uh, my uh, space heater fan, just the fan, on top of it to spread the heat around. And this thing only takes about 12 or 13 watts to run, so it's perfect for this. But yeah, this thing has been keeping it beautiful in here. Notice on this side, it's not hot at all. I mean, it's a little warm. Not much warm, and it's been running for several hours. So you can put your hand right there alongside of it. Same thing on this side. The only, and it doesn't, there's hardly any heat coming out right here either. It's all coming out of this vent up here. Ooh, that's hot. And then this thing disperses it. So it's, <laughs> and there's my chair right there. <laughs> It's perfect. That's like a space heater for me. <clears throat> yeah, this little thing's been working beautiful. And uh, so at night, I put the, the heater up on top of the table and let her uh, put the thermostat on it so that it's not cooking us, uh, cooking us out. And uh, that way Ruger can get up and walk around like he likes to do. Um, I don't have to worry about him starting a fire because if he caught on fire, this whole place would go down in a heartbeat by the time I got him stopped. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a beautiful little heater here. Like I said, you just need to get a fan or something to disperse the heat. If you don't have a space heater, you can get what they call a O2 cool fan, which works very good for this. And I can set that up there to this. I can direct around a little bit if I need to. The other one I couldn't, the space heater, because it has to sit up there a certain way to stay there. But this thing, the problem with this fan is it requires batteries. And I don't have any, I don't have any of the right kind of rechargeable batteries. They're D-sized. I have some that I got from Harbor Freight. They're useless. They're junk. So, I mean, they'll run the thing for about three minutes and they'll... Uh, considering last night was uh, like 49 yeah, degrees, space heater. the night before was 43, <laughs> I love it. the night before was 44, this is what's been keeping me moving. 
Otherwise, I'd have froze to death. I know that. I do not like the cold. Beautiful. I love this thing. I like that it has a thermostat. That's the main reason I got this particular model was for the thermostat. Because um, I didn't want it just running all night long, burning up all that propane. All right, I know I told you I had that other space heater that I got up on top of the propane furnace. The problem is that one on low sucks 500 watts, which is just a little bit more than the extra that I have coming in from the solar panels. It's actually probably 500 watts is probably about 50 to 75 watts too much for what the panels are putting in. So I got a new space heater. This is a small one personal size 250 watts but it puts out some nice heat and that way I still have extra going into the battery whenever uh, this is running uh, I can run this one much longer than the other one um, so that's the nice thing is I can run this thing most of the day 250 watts is not all that. I mean, I have that much extra coming out of the panels. I don't have 500 watts extra coming out of the panel. So, like I said, it's 250 watts puts out some good heat. $8 at Walmart because I got the purple one. They also sell red and other colors, but I wanted the purple. That way I got two of them. So I got one for the front of the RV and one for the back if I ever need it. I love my heat. And I know I've showed you this before, but this is my French press coffee maker. You can see it's a small one. It, this one only holds about 20 ounces. But the nice thing about this is it doesn't make any difference how I heat the water. I can heat it over a campfire, gas, propane, electricity, doesn't make any difference. That's my coffee pot, my coffee maker. All I got to do is heat the water, and that's it. I dump the grounds in there, pour the water in there, and let it steep for four or five minutes, and it's ready to go. Don't need electricity. Don't need any of that stuff. This is perfect. It's beautiful. So, yeah, French press coffee maker, and this way you can make it much stronger than you can ever get out of an, uh, an electric perk. Like I said, this is a 20-ouncer. I mean, they, serve, they sell them up to that will hold like 12 cups. But I love this thing because I can make it as strong as I like. And let it steep for longer than anything else ever will let it do. Like electric perk. It just runs right through it. So, that's it for that.